Well, we're going to use iPhoto and uh, edit some of our photos. And um, let's see what we could do with some of the tools that they give us in iPhoto. I picked a photo for me to uh, use as a sample. It's my daughter and son-in-law at the beach. Um, you can see that they were backlit so that uh, they are relatively in the shade facing me. There's some people playing in the back over here. It's a typical beach picture. Let's see what we could do to make it better. So when I opened iPhoto, I took a look at some of the pictures that I had. This is another choice I could have used. This is a picture I used. So I'm bringing it up to the forefront. And I used the edit window. I didn't have to name anybody. I don't think they have names. But this would be Beth, and this would be Corey. All right? And um, that's not the purpose of what I came to do. I came to edit the image. I'm going to start with adjust. Well, for one thing, we're going to start with the edit window. Edit, adjust, and I'm going to change these controls to change the exposure. I'll also change the um, shadows and bring that around here. I'll change the highlights to put some definition back in the water. Uh, I'll probably saturate it a little bit to give it a little more color. When I do that, I should end up. And when I start with adjust, I see that this is a blank area over here. So I'm going to move this over first. And I see that I've improved it already. I'm going to now add some detail into the shadows. And I don't want to go too far. So I don't want to make them pasty. So I just add enough so that I can see them in the shadows. Now the highlights of the water... I'm going to increase those highlights so that there's more definition in the water. Again, where I left off here now, which is a much larger uh, expanse, I'm going to bring this all the way over, move this towards the middle. This brings them into a very good exposure so that I can clearly see them. There's uh, light on the shoulders on the hair, on the head. It's a nice beach picture. It'd be nice to get rid of these people. Probably saturate a little bit to give it a little more color. When I do that, I should end up with this. And here we can see where I changed the levels here. I added saturation. I added some highlights. I added some shadows. And that's all I did. And uh, it's not a bad picture, but I'd like to make it nicer. One thing I could do is I can get rid of the people in the background. Matter of fact, for that matter, I can get rid of his tattoo. I can't stand that tattoo to begin with. Uh, so let's see. I'm just going to add a little saturation. So that there's some more color in the picture. And I'm going to close this. And I'm going to pick up the retouch brush. And the first thing I want to do, since I can't stand this tattoo, is I'm going to remove the tattoo as best I can. Won't be a perfect job, but certainly tattoo is gone. And then I'm going to aim, when I aim for these people, this one's all in the white. So I just click once on him and he's gone. I want to make sure that this circle is small enough and the part that's in the blue gets gotten rid of. The part in the white is gone. And now the surfers are gone. I could then use my effects and using the, so 
there's a method to do this, and the method is with one of the brushes. Finally, we can make this picture a lot nicer if we were to just put it into a mat like this. Specs. This allows you to do a million things. You can make them black and white. This is a normal look. You could fade the color. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can see how the color fades away, back to normal. What I chose, one of the things was vignette, which is an option, and that was to bring them within a dark circle. But since I was put on a uh, PowerPoint slide, I thought that it would be better if it was a white circle. So I'm going to click on the mat, and I adjust to make it small enough so I can enclose them by themselves. And now the picture is finished. This is the same picture that I produced before. It's a very nice picture now. Uh, very beachy, and uh, clearly the subjects stand out. This is the way it's done. Um, and one thing I could do to make it different is make him into Adam and my daughter into Eve. So this is the uh, use of the um, uh, retouching tools in iPhoto. You would then want to resize this so that it was 4 by 6. So if I was checking 4 by 6, that's this. And uh, then I would have a very nice photograph. Click Apply. And that's how I would print my 4 by 6. Very nice. Any questions?